everyone, I'm back with another video and today I want to share a Tim Holtz inspired canvas that I made for my buddy and friend Kathy who is Canadian Scrapper Girl on YouTube. Hey Kathy! Um, so I was on Tim Holtz's blog and I was inspired by a lot of his pieces. So I scrap lifted Mr. Tim Holtz and I created this canvas. So um, I hope you like it Kathy. So here we go. Let me turn it around. Um, so this was super fun to make and um, I used an 8x8 canvas and on this side I wanted to finish it a little bit so I used the hanging sign and this is the hanging um, part and I just like cut it to size to fit the side so I put those on those two um, the corner of the canvas and I had painted the canvas black and I had sprayed it randomly with black um, magic glimmer mist which has a lot of gold glimmer so that looks kind of cool and then I added those and this is um, I didn't have any black set distress so I just used black stays on on chipboard and then I put the um, Tim Holtz distressed crackle paint and rock candy so that looks kind of cool in the side it's kind of cool that you can make chipboard look like um, look like that so that's kind of cool it doesn't even look like paper um, and then um, I used some of the papers that Pink Scrapper 99 sent over to me thanks Carlene and um, like I said I just took some elements that Tim made and I kind of put it in like my own order and stuff so here's um, I'll start from top to bottom oh and these corners Kathy actually gave me and they were perfect um, for this project so that worked out well so this is um, so the there's the back paper and that's part of the paper that um, Pink Scrap Carlene gave me and then um, here's another part of the paper which I just mounted on chipboard and I inked the edges with walnut stain and I put one of new um, Tim Holtz charms there it's the bird and I like the way this says ink um, love that and then I used some of that uh, masking tape here, which looks super cool. This is like the movie themed one. And then I'm loving this cage bird die. And I don't like putting the bird inside the cage. I like putting the bird outside of the cage so he can fly away and stuff. So I hung this um, love key with a jump ring. And then I am really into black roses. So I put some little mini black roses there. And um, <laughs> this was, <laughs> I made a mistake on this. So this is actually a 99 cent Michaels frame. And this is what it originally looks like. It's, I love it. I mean, I love it the way it is. But for this piece, I needed to distress it. And so I um, took some black acrylic paint and I painted that frame up. Well, first I sanded it down. Um, just to take some of the shine off and then I put some black acrylic paint and then I wasn't getting the insides because this is really ornate so then I sprayed it with black magic glimmer mist and that went on the insides and there's some gold glimmer mixed in there and then I wiped it off so there's like different layers of color and it looks super distressed it looks pretty cool and then Joe who is paper drama totally made me buy a melting pot which you guys I love you have to be careful with it it's super hot but um, I was like melting UT and it was so hardcore and um, so I kind of made this little vignette here um, so this is actually a flower that Joe gave me that she made out of those vintage bags and it was already done for me and so I just dipped that in the UT and it came out super cool and then I just dipped some leaves in UT and this is um, just a paper flower that I dipped in UT. Just the tips are dipped in UT, like the rest looks is just the paper. And here's an aluminum rose and then more dipped UT leaves. And I'm loving the melting pot. I'm loving that thing. I'm gonna try to find other things that I can make with it, but I just wanna dip everything in UT. So that's that little vignette. And then um, this, <laughs> I got really aggressive with the glue gun because, um, <laughs> So I so I like I, this is some more of that lost and found Tim Holtz paper, and um, I wanted to make it look like the roses were growing out of the ornate plate. 
but I just got I just like it was late at night and I just I think I used a whole glue stick on this and I I I wasn't happy with the amount of glue but I think it looks cool <laughs> so I'm justifying it by saying that it looks like grungy and distressed so I put some of the Tim Holtz foliage I had uh, painted it green with some acrylic paint and then I wiped it off um, to give it that sort of antique look and then I put some Prima baby roses that I dipped in the UT and there's some bead caps and there's glue and there's the ornate plate but I still think it looks cool and then um, this is one of the big surprises this is made out of chipboard um, and this is actually so I had a different orientation before so that's why this keyhole is going this way I had originally planned for it to go this way and then I changed my mind last minute so um, so that's why that keyhole is going that way but I still think it looks cool um, so this is um, a Melissa Francis keyhole from Joe who's paper drama and um, I just took some of that lost and found paper and I put it on a chipboard so it like lifts up so this is like really dimensional um, and then I cut this with the styled labels die Tim Holtz alterations and then it was just plain chipboard and then I inked it up with walnut stain and then I just put a ton of the distress distress crackle paint and rock candy on top and then you don't you don't heat gun it you just wait for it to dry and I was a little concerned because it was just a blob and then when I came back after it dried it totally looked like leather oh my goodness so that totally looks like leather right there so that's it that's what I made oh and this one I totally made a mistake because I dropped it <laughs> and it broke oh my goodness um this part broke off and so I had to like re um I, I couldn't glue it back to it was like in pieces and this like corner piece but um but again I'm justifying it by saying that it looks found and it's like antique and I don't know but um I think it looks all right even though that piece broke off but I re-inked it and re-glimmer missed it so it would match with the rest so that's what I made for Kathy, Canadian Scrapper Girl. I hope you like it. She likes brown. Um, and so I made it like brown. And then um, I think my favorite part is this. I love the way that looks. And this is, again, the hanging sign die. And that's just the, the hanging part, which I cut to size. And it's like just really, it looks like metal. It's so cool. Um, so that's my little mixed media canvas you guys um hope you guys like it and this was totally super uber duper fun to make so i'll see you guys later bye